yeah so uh, welcome again guys so uh, i'm not sure most of you have seen the the front view of, of my site yeah this is the front view that is under construction this is the front view so i think i used to show the floor i used to show the area view since when i've been doing video on that on that side so today what we want to do today is uh we want to do an as built survey for the for the site so we want to check our columns on the ground floor and on this on the first floor so we want to do the observation if those columns are if they are on alignment so that's what we want to do today so you can see we are we are set so that's what we want to do today then we'll be picking the, the road information. The client said they need the, the road spot heights. So we want to pick all the road spot heights. We want to do topographical survey as, as many points as we can pick. So that's what we want to do today. So let me go to where the reflector is. Uh, so I'm not I'm not sure if you can see him there, but just finish your setting first so we will check if it's visible if it's not it will come to that point that we are seeing there that yellow that we saw on that side i will ask him to come there he gets power for your phone I think I use that one take pictures. I want to use it to take pictures. Get that you send it to me. I want to use it to take pictures. Okay, so it's set. So create, check the points. Do the light first. Is the light, is it showing? Okay, yeah. Yeah, check, you check, don't worry, check. Trace it down, trace it down. Yeah, okay. Okay, so try and check where he is. So let's see if I can see him from here. So as you can see, we are we are using a, a re resection method. So we are setting on unknown points to to do our orientation on other two known points. So that's what we want to do today. So then we we'll pick all the details as as much as we can observe from here, so that we can provide. The, the information we needed for them. So if it is resection method I want to use, once you set on unknown points, that means we need at least two, two points. That is the minimum two points that you reference to, so that you can continue whatever you are doing. But if it is, if it is that you are setting on a known point, you know at least you need another point that is a known point also to do your orientation. But today we are setting on unknown points, then we'll fix our orientation with two other known points. So that's what we want to do today. Can you see him? You can't see him. And it's clear. What I'm trying to do is so that I can ask him to. Uh, 
Uh, let me ask him to come to this side. Okay. Let me ask him to come. Okay, I will. Okay, okay so how's your assets? Let's open a new file. So I'll uh, open a new file first. Menu. Then that is. Okay, what do you want to do? We want to do data collection. That is one. So let's open a new file. Uh, let me name it Purple As Built. Purple L E Purple Purple A S A S Okay Pop ways enter list enter okay so now let me do this so if it is your section method once you are setting on uh, you are setting on on known point and you want to do your orientation with other two known points so you go to the section then you fix the first coordinate of your back side coming on okay so you are giving me point one okay, that is P P T P T one enter P T one enter you are called the nothing Okay. Not in first. Seven one one. Two four seven. Two four seven. Uh huh. Five five two. Five five two. Seven one four. Point eight zero nine. Point eight zero nine. Yeah. So that's my point one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Enter. So let me fix. Uh, then enter. Yeah, where is your? You have to go. Yeah. Let's check the instrument heights. So you turn. No, don't worry. Oh, you can measure it from there. You can turn it as well. Just turn it like this. Uh, so you do your measurements. Since it's a topographical survey, your, the height of instrument is very, very important. So the instrument is asking for the height of instrument. So we need to fix that since we are doing topographical survey. So that is 1.595. Okay, good. So our height of instrument is 1.595. 1.595. Nine, Enter. So hold your phone. Uh, I want to buy set point one. Okay. Yes. Okay, that is PT2. So my point one is done. So let me buy set my point two. P T two P T two. We are called number two. The seven one one. Seven one one. Two zero one. Two zero one. Point four four one. Point four four one. Okay. Five five two. Five five two. Six four one. Six four one. Point one one eight. Point one one eight. Enter. Ten. Enter. So. Yes. Yes. The instrument height today is two. The reflector height is two meter. 
yes enter okay so let me so let me check for point two as well let me zoom let me check for point two it's, it's far away the camera can't see okay let me just check so measure N is it okay? Seven one one two zero eight one four zero two five five two five six two point three seven three. Okay, so Mark, you are writing this one down for me. You write it under it. Yeah, just write it under seven one one. You can draw a line, just draw a line under that one. Seven one one two zero eight point four zero two. 552 five, 652 five, 0.373 so you are right 10.003 10.003 okay so that's the value that's the value for these points so now we are good to go enter so now we can continue with whatever we want to do. So we want to do our that is we want to start picking our points. So and that is FS and SS. That is three. Okay. So now we are set with the orientation. So what we do for me is I will look for another point. If you can see it, yes, yeah, somewhere on that road. So we'll pick it. So if you can't see it, we continue with the road. So you, both of you, continue doing so. I'll go inside and get another reflector for for myself and my helmet. Okay. No, no, don't worry. Let me go and meet you. So when when we see that one, just turn your bicep to your instrument. Once you get there, just click all. This all is going to save. But if you only press measure, it's just going to. Or you do that. This press measure, then you save. It will ask, it will ask you, did you want to record it? It will put record here. But there's a two things that is involved. If you press measure, that means you just want to write it down. You are not saving it on the instrument. But once you press all, that is F4. All means it's going to save it on the instrument. You get it. So that's, that's how we do it, guys. So we want to start our observation. We want to start picking each road. So and this is how we're going to do it. We'll pick the... I don't need this drainage on this other side. So I'm, I'm just only going to start from the starting of this road. Uh, I'll pick the span of the road, then the curb, the two curbs, then the other road. Then also the drainage on this side. Let me show you guys. So this is the one that is important to the project I'm doing. So this drainage and there's a canal at the back here. So that's, those are the things I want to pick on this road before transferring points into the into the subject site into the project site so you can see the canal so the, we have a canal at the back here so that's that's my area of concentration hey big 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 So that's, that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to do a, a, a screen recording for the plotting. I'll do it on my AutoCAD software. So I'm going to show you guys how uh, the results that I have on, on this on this project that I'm doing video on it now. So I will, I will show you guys the AutoCAD video. I will do a screen recording for my, for my system so that I can show you guys what the result looks like. So that's, that's how it is. So from here, I will transfer points to, to the sites so I can use it to, to observe the columns as well. All the columns, I'll pick it on the ground floor, then on the first floor, so we can look at the difference in, in, our, in our points. So we can know the, the difference that we are having. So if it is perfect from ground floor to first floor, and if it is if there is difference, so we'll be able to know and give the client the results that, that, they, that they require. So that's just it, guys. So I want to I want to pick another point. This, this is a control point, so I want to observe it as well. 
so you can see the subject side so this is my side this is the front view So the starting points one two three four five six seven so you are picking seven points on each grid line so you are to you a bit street light here only better by now you can start from here oh no 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 just this one is okay let it go so cross to the other side start from that edge start from that side yeah. uh, two meter go see you my you're cool on two meter so guys we're about to start so I'm picking on the other side that is going to. I'm picking the top of the top of the walkway. So our our tracking rod is at two meter height. That's the that's the height that we are fixing it. So the top of the cab on the on that side. After the top of the cab, then it's going to pick the top of the road. Then cross to this middle cab. Then pick the both side. Then comes down to this place. Pick this side of the road. Then the top of the walkway here. Then the drainage. So that is that's how we are going to pick it on this. So I'm going to use this street light as my as my dimension, as my offset, as my change rather. So this street light will be my change. So after picking everything on this grid line, this street light. So I'm going to the next street light and pick another point on that row. Then move to the next street light, pick the next point on that row. So that will be the, the point of my that will be the, the reference of my change. So that's how we do it guys that's how we do it so just watch out for the next video i will show you guys on the results that i have so i'm going to do the plotting on my autocad software on my system so i will do a screen recording for you guys to see so i'll do a screen recording for you guys to, to check it out so that's that's just it so i'll see you next time